we usually grill our chicken our chicken usually start by draining the chicken so that the chicken can be moist and delicious so the first thing that i usually do is that i take oyster sauce you can find it at any store in kenya like two teaspoons of oyster sauce like four tablespoons of uh dark soy sauce yeah. it's available in, at all the stores in kenya all the major stores mm -hmm. readily available wow so that's like yeah it's like a chinese brine and the how much the quantity of soy sauce Four tablespoons. Okay. It's easier for me because I've been doing used to the recipe. Yeah, I'm used to the recipe. Okay. So I can just do it. Mi mixed halves mm -hmm. to my to the mixture. Mm -hmm. Then I add thyme. Add thyme. Like one tablespoon. Or you can measure it with your eyes. Then I'm going to add cinnamon. One tablespoon, just for flavor. Mm -hmm. I love cinnamon. Ooh. Yeah. Then I'm going to add honey to the mixture. Then I'm going to add uh, cut um, um, garlic, garlic and ginger. ginger. Uh -huh. Just cut it through. Cut through it. So you don't need to do it. A rough fine. chop. Okay. Because rough rough this is just a brine. Then it's just a brine. Then, what else am I using? Some salt. Don't put too much salt. If yeah. It's just the normal tab table salt. Mm -hmm. Actually, the ideal salt for a brine is kosher salt. Kosher. Yeah. Okay. But, but if you yeah. have table salt, it will do. Just, yeah, it will do. Because it's going to taste like aldi. Ah, yeah. Then we are going to add two tablespoons of sugar. You can substitute it with the, the brine. So we are going to add water. Since you, since we have two, chi, two chickens, hey. we are going to add two jars, two jars of water. water. Then you are going to dip the chicken in. Then you're going to leave it to brain for the ideal time is usually three hours or even nine so hours. hours. We we'll do it for three hours because we were away mm. and it's late. So we're going to leave it, set it aside. You can refrigerate it if you want. Okay. So for three hours, three to nine hours. Great. taken the chicken from the brine it's been one hour guys yeah it's been one hour so what i'm going to do is that i've already butterfly the first chicken oh so this is what you call butterfly what is Old it scotch i've forgotten the name i'll just write it in the description box do you like so you open it up or something you remove the backbone of the chicken oh yeah so that it may grill faster because normally a normal roast usually takes around two hours but after butterflying the chicken ah oh, so that's yeah. what it so is so i'm going to show you guys how to do it, it. butterfly okay so mm -hmm. the backbone you cut through it's even easier with with the chicken scissors but my backbone okay. of the chicken oh so don't you need the backbone? It's not that necessary. It's not that necessary, especially just to open up the chicken mm -hmm. and so that it gets even heat. Oh, yes, it will help. Yeah, you. and it will be faster, faster right? than our normal. Yes, so people, this yes. is for the cut or the stock. You can use it for anything. So, at, you, see, you see, it's very easy to butterfly your chicken. And these two chicken, how many people can it feed? Eight people. Okay. So I'm going to cut through the breast. Uh -huh. I'm just going to make a cut, a paste. So you can substitute this. You can use margarine or butter. Butter or whatever is available. Bacon fat, whatever, okay. whatever is lard available. Or lard is too much. Even lard is fine. Okay. Just for flavor. Uh -huh. So are we making a rub now? 
this yeah, rub. Yeah, we've started. So I'm going to make the rub. It depends on the size of the chicken. Like this too? Uh -huh. Yeah, the amount of margarine to put in. Okay. So it just depends on you. It's up to you. Okay. Just basic knowledge. And so the the ancestors we supposed to stop. Because we are black, we are Africans. <laughs> so we are going to add mixed tabs. Then we are going to add basil. A generous amount of basil. Basil. You can use it without the dried herbs. And it works as well. Just fine. So there's no pressure. This is there's no pressure. Cooking. Yeah. Then we added thyme. Then you are going to mix it. Mix it together. I don't feel like the margarine is enough, so I'm going to add a little. Okay. Okay. So it's ready. So what I'm going to do. Here's the wrap, guys. It's ready for the chicken. Yeah. So I'm going to do next is that and pat it. I want to remove all the water. You can just use your kitchen towel. Uh, you pat it dry. Okay. Yeah, I need to pat it dry. One thing that I like doing is cutting, making three cuts on the thighs. Mm -hmm. I learned it from another chef. Okay. Then I'm going to cut through the skin. Like so. Then I'm going to tuck in the wings. Because usually the wings cook at a lower temperature than the rest of the chicken, so I don't want it to be burnt or anything. So I'm going to tuck it in. Okay. Under the. Yeah. Oh, so that's how you do it. Uh, would I ever do this on my own? Okay. Yeah, it's so easy. You tuck in the wings. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to take my. Grab it, grab it. Oh, mm. so that's what you do. That's why it's juicy. Yes. <sighs> okay. I'll take some more. I'm going to wrap it in. So the aim is to put it under the skin. Under the skin. I like doing it under the skin. Okay. I've tasted it before and it was to lovely. Make it crispy. Yes. Then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take the garlic paste and also put it under the skin. Some people usually skip this part, but I like the gar I like the flavor of garlic. I love garlic too. Yeah, uh, lots of garlic. I don't care. I'm Especially not... in dross. Uh, like oh, well seasoned girl. food in this house. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it under the skin. Okay. Then. Okay. Then this is I need to eat a generous amount of pepper for that sharp flavor. Okay. Then this is optional. I usually like adding paprika. It's optional. Okay. Yeah, it's optional. You can just uh, get away with just black pepper and salt, but I like using paprika. Just a little amount of paprika. It's more of like a tikka rub. Okay. Oh, with the paprika, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. And the tikka rub. Rub, rub, rub. Yeah. Kukua pon. <laughs> Can you call this kukua kupaka? Kinda. Yeah, when I get a yeah, cause you're packing. Yeah, packari. Then I'm going to add a generous amount of cumin. It's also optional. If you don't like uh, a lot of spices, you can just skip this part and just use salt and pepper. Okay. But chicken doesn't have 
it has flavor i know especially in roast but it's yeah. nice to help it yeah it's nice to help it yes. then we are going to add chicken masala mm-hmm. i usually like this chicken masala it doesn't have chili that's it called... okay that's all yeah okay. it has <laughs> it's mango in it and it doesn't have chili so it's just fine oh mango but so for the people that don't like chili so i don't like chili uh-huh. so i'm going to put this aside and work on the second chicken then i'll show you the next step okay yeah you can just yeah so guys this is our chicken the first one at least after the rub has been put on it and it looks wonderful so you need this like um baking tray and uh the rack that's all so also oh, this helps to collect juices right yeah ah, okay are you planning to use this to cook with this yeah okay so good. we are on our last step we're going Yay. to add a pinch of salt uh-huh. then we're going to add around one teaspoon of oil oh, okay interesting Do you add lemon right now because I'm seeing we have lemon. No, I'll do another mix. I'll ah, do another tutorial. Oh, okay. It's called Gramelda. Okay. Rub. So, I've already preheated preheat your oven at 230 degrees for around 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. So, I'm going to put my chicken in the oven. Woo! It is steaming hot. Oven at two I've already preheated my oven at 230 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh-huh. So, I uh, put the chicken in the oven. How long does it stay in there for? 45 minutes. Uh-huh. 45 to 1 hour. So, but 45 minutes is the ideal time. Then I'm going to grill it at around 225 to 30 degrees. Then time it at around 45 minutes to 50 minutes. Then I'm going to set the temperature at 225 around 225 to 30 degrees for 45 minutes then I'm going to put the grill function I'm going to set it down oh, bake it grill say. it grill function okay yeah the grill function because you are grilling our chicken then we are going to leave it in the oven for 45 minutes okay yeah So what you're going to make next is mm-hmm. a paste called grimalada. Grimalotta, grimalada, potato pata, potato potato, mm-hmm. whatever you like to call it. So what we done we zested our lemon. Then we add finely chopped garlic. So this is garlic plus lemon zest. Yeah. Okay. Plus ah. the lemon zest. Okay. One lemon. Yeah, one lemon. Mm-hmm. Just one is enough. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to squeeze the lemon into the mix okay yeah mhm after we are done we add the mixed up okay. but you can also just add par- parsley mm-hmm. or yeah but the mix up is just fine mm-hmm. so i'm going to add one this is like a teaspoon okay so big one t- teaspoon of the mixed up Then you're going to add one around one teaspoon of oil, oil. any vegetable oil but some it's better to put to add olive oil for okay. the flavor. Okay. Then you're going to mix it. Then pinch of salt. Mm-hmm. Then you're going to add pepper. pepper. Black pepper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, black pepper. Pepper. That's all we're done. Perfect. Yeah. So when is this used? Uh during the cooking process. No. After. Just on top. Yeah. On top. Ah, okay. Mm. At what minute will you add this? Right 45. now. At the 45 minutes mark. Yeah. Great. Oh, that's when we set the resting. oven for 45. Yeah. Okay. And 
And now after 45 minutes, our chicken is ready. Our chicken is ready. Wow, it looks amazing. Well browned and crispy. Now what you are going to do is that we are going to let it rest for 10 minutes. Then we cut it and serve. Wow, it looks amazing. Juicy, fresh. Guys, so our chicken is ready and all thanks to Blossom, thank you. Thank you very much, it was a team effort. I just filmed. <laughs> and right now, so we're going to taste it. We didn't taste the Mahamri, so we are testing every food we make from now on. You can add, you can have this with ugali. Uh, we're having ours with ugali and kachumbari, so yeah. Baked potatoes, chips. And the final table. So let's test and see how this will be. So you just do it. It's moist. Okay. The same thing you like about it, it's so moist. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. We can cook it for your girlfriend, for your boyfriend, for your husband. Oh my god. It slaps. Where's the guy? <laughs> Where is the guy? So guys, I hope you loved this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe for more. I'll make sure I post Blossom to show us all her recipes. Thank you. Mm -hmm.